Hey everybody, Dollar Bead Box is in. Um, funny little story. I, I received my August Dollar Bead Box um, quite some time ago in August. And um, I decided that uh, I was watching a few other reviews and I decided that I wanted to also do um, the dollar bead bag like many of the other people were doing because I really was starting to enjoy getting into the, um, the, um, the strands of nice stones and whatnot that uh, you get in the dollar bead bag. So in August, I subscribed to the dollar bead bag in addition to the dollar bead box. So already having received the August box, box I got another August box, <laughs> which is fine. I think that's absolutely cool. Um, but in addition, I did uh, a bead haul too, and uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna move this out of the way. And oh, I've got a whole bunch of things in here. This, by the way, I'll just quickly show you me getting all <laughs> all over the place here. Um, but these are these are some river stones that I uh, I picked up and uh, I've managed to shine them up really nicely. Uh, and the next video, I'm going to be doing a really cool project with um, one or two of these. I think I think uh, um, these two here, I'm going to do a cool project with. So anyway, I'll get those out of the way. I put those in the bead box because, well, because I suppose. So I'm going to leave my bead haul to the side. And um, so I'm really excited because I got a dollar bead bag. And so, um, yeah, I, I decided that I wanted to add this to my subscription. So that was really good to do that. So um, I know lots of people have already done this um, review a few million times, but I'm going to do it too. So there we have the, uh, the details on what's going to be in there. So I'm going to set that to the side so I can see everything. Dump that out. And you get a series of, um, of um, three millimeter and four millimeter strands. I'll separate those out. So um, the three millimeter strand, you get a uh, a pink opal, which is this one. Very nice. Get those right out of the way for now. So that's a pink opal. A medium violet, which is this one. That is very pretty. Uh, blue, blue zircon. And opaque turquoise. Those are so pretty. I really, really, really like those colors. Um, pretty spectacular. And then the four millimeter strands, you get this alabaster white. Very nice. I'm not really into whites. Um, I don't know. I find it to be a little bit boring, quite frankly, but you can add it in to uh, some mixes and it looks kind of, kind of okay. Uh, so alabaster white. And then there's beige luster. That is stunning. I like that with the turquoise. That's really pretty. Um, and then there's a Peridot Rainbow Iris. That is beautiful. And then there is Garnet. So that is the, um, the dollar bead bag. Very pretty. I like that. I'm really glad that I subscribed to this. I think that this is going to be um, a very good addition to my current subscription. Hopefully, um, <laughs> hopefully I won't be getting two bead boxes at a time. So very interesting. Um, okay, and then as usual, once again, there's our little list of everything that I should find in there. So I'm going to set that to the side, and just for my own sake, uh, because I'm not. I'm not super knowledgeable um, about some of the beads yet, so I'm going to just um, 
use my my little my little list here to try and determine what's what so bear with me so there is a six millimeter um check glass bicone and that's in jet and there's 25 of those and that's this guy here oh so sorry about the shadows let me move that to the other side and then we won't have quite so many shadows hopefully there's still the shadow from the tripod here it's a very weird day today first time in a very long time we're actually having cool weather and the tiniest bit of rain in about 10 weeks and hopefully it will uh, rain quite hard okay so there's our jet um, bicone then there is uh, an eight millimeter check uh, glass druck in opaque purple um, I'm not really sure what drucks are but I assume since this is the only um, purple <laughs> <laughs> purple that um that's in the uh, on the strand that must be it and then there is uh and there's 25 of those then there's a chartreuse oh my god i love that color wow i love that color yeah i can see me being addicted to that um then there's a check glass autumn mix with vintage bronze luster isn't that gorgeous? Yes, I can um, I can see me wanting to do something with those. That is stunning. And then finally, we've got um, some check glass teardrops. It says the colors vary. Very nice, very nice. I. Very iridescent -y in a way, I guess. So I'm gonna move those out of the way. So that's all of the, um, that is all of the, um, uh, the things on the strand. And then now we've got these 10.3 uh, by 10 millimeter Swarovski hearts. And these, I assume are these ones. They're quite pretty. I'm hoping you can see those fairly well. Those are really pretty. Um, heart art, it says Indian pink, two quantity. So that's very nice. Get those to the side. What is next? Um, and then a hex oval, Chinese porcelain, and this is a 25 by 18. And yes, I remember this from uh, the other box I have. And um, Lovely. That That's very, very pretty. And one of the things that I thought right off the bat when I, as soon as I saw this one, is how nice that would make as just sort of um, one of those tassel necklaces. So I think that's probably what I'm going to do with that one most likely. Next um, is a pewter cross. Um, yeah. Not so much. <laughs> Not really into the crosses and stuff like that. But um, yeah, that would make an interesting. Oh, and then we've got um, something that's either antique brass or antique silver. It's a pewter cross or a pewter um, uh, connector. And I saw on um, Bronze Pony on Stephanie's channel, she did some stellar earrings with this. Let me get that out of there. So um, I ended up, you'll see in my bead haul, I bought a few more of these. So now I have I have four sets of these to do a whole bunch of different uh, earrings with it. So that is really cool. I'm loving that. Um, what else? Oh, and some um, pewter keys as well. You know, I'm not into the charm bracelets and stuff like that, um, but this would make kind of a, <laughs> sort of a cool goth kind of a um, necklace charm, or you could do a bunch of little hanging things like that on necklaces, or even earrings, which is um, something I might just do with these guys, because that would be sort of cool. So there's those guys. Um, oh, and then, where is it? There we go. 
I won't take that out, but this is a toggle. Those are always handy. Always handy to have some connectors. Love that. Um, what's next? Check glass heart. Check glass heart. Matte pink opal with gold wash. What? Well, I wonder if that's what. I wonder if that's what these guys are with the gold wash. Let me just have a quick look here. Because I wonder if these, oh yes, okay, I see, yes, these are the, um, these are Swarovski hearts, okay, and then these are the, um, the matte pink opal, okay, got ya. Now what have I got? So I'm gonna bring all the rest of these guys out because I've got fire polish crystal, which must be these guys. And then check glass cathedral cut. Maybe those. And then these are, oh yeah, so these are four millimeters. So these are the uh, French Rosaline sun cut. So that is, um, that's my, uh, my bead box. Um, very cool. I'm going to get all of these guys now out of the way. And I was so enamored with, um, with everything that I, I saw on the line that I decided to order some more because the cool thing about getting the dollar bead bag and the dollar bead box is that when you order more, they're a buck each. I ordered 41 items, so um, obviously $41 worth of, um, worth of um, um, stuff from them. And uh, so <laughs> this is worth way more than $41. So let's just kind of shove all these guys to the side and I'll show you what we got. So I got some uh, opaque brick red um, size 11 seed beads. And I, I love this color. Um, I always find that this is a difficult color for me to get for some strange reason. So when I could get those um, three tubes for a dollar, yeah, definitely getting them. So I did, of course. Um, and then um, I got more of these guys, as I said. So I've now got enough to make four sets of uh, earrings out of those. I really love Stephanie's design on it. It's so pretty. And these guys, wow, so happy with these. I'm going to be making um, a project, um, a Perry bracelet fairly soon I promise this time and these are shank buttons and I'm going to do something really really neat uh, with these as my uh, as my closures so I thought I would get a few of those what else have I got in here so this is some leather cord let me just see what it says on here if I can find it Okay, so it's, it says one yard of one millimeter leather cord and the color varies. So totally up my alley, that leather cord. I really like the color. Um, this is very much in my color palette. And obviously I have a feeling that based on all of the colors that I chose um, in, my, uh, in the beads that I ordered, I just think that they they probably um, decided to do a bit of color matching for me, which if they did, I think that's pretty, um, I think that's really cool that they would do that. So very happy with that. Uh, what else have we got here? Just give me a moment. I'm sorry. I'm spending time looking at this. Okay. Well, I won't really um, waste your time. Okay. So these are, oh, they're um, check glass leaves, green with a silver wash, 25 of those. 
I really like these a lot. I am um, a leaf freak. I don't know. I probably told you guys that before, but I am a leaf freak. I love them. Okay, well, let's take a look at these strands. Um, totally, completely in love with these. These are so incredible. Um, so these are turquoise with travertine, and they're six millimeter check glass bicones. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Um, so from my um, from the bead box, of course, they have these. Um, and <laughs> as you probably guessed, when I went crazy about the color. Um, I decided to buy more of those because I, I really like them. And so these must be the two mil millimeter um, Czech fire polish sage travertine. And then I got some more two millimeter light topaz. And how many of those does I get? I think I got... I think I got two of these. I think I got two of these ones. I will look. So there's two of those. So these are these two are both two millimeters. I'll get those guys out of the way. And then I got a bunch of uh, three millimeters and some four millimeter. These are the four millimeter Czech fire polish burgundy Maria. And then I've got uh, the same color the same ones in a in a three millimeter as well so i got a four and a three in the same color these are burgundy maria ah uh, what else have i got here it's because i'm sort of like a uh, I, I love turquoise so much i think it's just beautiful absolutely gorgeous and i got four of these and these are opaque turquoise with travertine. Of course I would get that because they're stunning. And then I got these. Beautiful. I'm not gonna bother going through all the colors cause that's just taking up a lot of my time and I'm sure you don't wanna sit there watching me trying to figure out what the colors are. Um, but I'll just start pulling these guys out for you to see. I love this color. These are two slightly different ones. I love these colors though. Um, I really am very enamored with all of the sort of earthy tones. I just find those are my, my thing. But this is pretty incredible um, to be able to buy this much. This is crazy. Like really, this is crazy to spend a dollar per strand. I mean, who, who sells stuff like that? <laughs> That's crazy. Ah, I don't know if you're, I'm probably just kind of bunching these up too much, but anyway, so Look at all of this stuff. This is pretty incredible. There is tons and tons and just tons. Like I can't even really estimate what I would what I would pay for this if I walked into my local bead store. Okay, so that's my little bead haul. Um, thank you for watching this video. Keep an eye out for uh, future videos coming up very soon, I promise. Um, and uh, I'm going to start to create some projects because I'm um, accumulating a lot of stuff and I need to get busy working on some of these. So um, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.